السلام عليكم ارحب بزملائي وابنائي اطباء العيون المشاهدين للجزء الثاني من موضوع ماكروبا كيراتاتس وهذا الجزء راح نتحدث عن المانجمنت اوف ذا كومن كوزز اوف انفكشيوس كيراتاتس تحدثنا في الجزء الاول ان البروفيجنال دايجنوزيس اوف ماكروبا كيراتاتس ديبندس اون ذا كاركترستكس كلينيكال فيتشرز regarding the history and the clinical signs. في ما يخص ال history we ask the patient about the cause of the disease, the onset, the duration and the progression, the predisposing factors and the pain. في ما يخص ال clinical signs, we examine the stroma suppuration, the epithelial staining and the surrounding structures. Pseudomonas keratitis is a common cause of microbial keratitis in our local circumstances. The onset could hyperacute with rapid progression, predisposed by use of contact lenses, trauma with non-organic material, or post-ocular surgery. It is painful keratitis. We may have clinical signs. The suppuration can thin, profuse, milky-like or mucus-like. The size of the staining can larger than the size of the suppuration. The surrounding cornea can edematous, hazy, who sometimes show liquefaction and melting of the cornea. Now this is a photo of Pseudomonas keratitis. You show the suppuration, thin, milky-like or mucus-like. Separation. We see the surrounding cornea can be hazy or dematous. Another photo for Pseudomonas keratitis with the staining. The size of the staining larger than the size of the separation. We see the central thinning of the cornea. The separation. We show for a profuse or mucus-like. In terms of the treatment of Pseudomonas keratitis, according to the previous study, isolated strains of Pseudomonas were sensitive to ciprofloxacillin and gentamicin, and the strains that were resistant to ciprofloxacillin were sensitive to gentamicin. Therefore, the initial therapy for presumed Pseudomonas keratitis is combination of ciprofloxacillin hydrox plus fortified gentamicin, 1.4%. In cases with impending perforation, we can add systemic ciptazidine. Fungal keratitis is also a common cause of infectious keratitis in our local circumstances, has a slow onset and progression with a chronic cause, but with misuse of steroid eye drops, it is a very rapid flare up and severe corneal necrosis and perforation. Fungal keratitis predisposed by trauma with organic materials or fungal nails, and sometimes post operative with long standing retain, retain zero stitch and it is a painful keratitis. Clinical signs of fungal keratitis. The suppuration is thick and cheesy-like. Examination of the margins of the suppuration is very important in the diagnosis. The margins can feathery or spiny. Should linear extensions, sometimes branching extensions, linear margins of the suppuration. Or sometimes, we show for the new colony at the end of these linear extensions. That is the picture of satellite lesion. Sometimes the shape of the suppuration can geographical, and sometimes it can deep endothelial abscess. I can show pigmentation in the suppuration. Normal fungi, dematous fungi, secrete pigmentation, which highly indicate fungal infection. The staining initially con adna stromal abscess 
without epithelial ulceration. Later, our lung epithelium will be involved with epithelial ulceration. The size of the staining on less than the size of the suppuration. But in advanced cases, the size of the staining can the same as the size of the suppuration. El hapopio con thick or sometimes irregular shape. Photos for fungal keratitis. A photo on the right is fungal keratitis, early case with stroma suppuration. Show the margins, linear-like, branching-like, spiny-like extensions. The overlying epithelium is intact, stain negative. The photo on the left. Stroma suppuration with feathery like extensions, and also the overlying epithelium is still intact and still negative. None of clinical features is very clear with diagnosis of the fungal keratitis, but with advanced cases from a severe suppuration of the cornea, all characteristic clinical features will be masked and the diagnosis becomes more difficult. Another photo for fungal keratitis, more advanced case. non of overlying epithelium becomes involved with epithelial ulceration. This is size of the staining less than the size of the suppuration. We show the margins of the suppuration irregular, or feathery or linear extensions Minimal margin. Other photos for fungal keratitis. The photo on the right shows a thick stroma suppuration or central stroma thinning. Shows a linear extension, minimal suppuration, and now the extension shows a new colony of fungal infection. On the hypopion, a regular shape. Thick. The photo on the left, and then I show the satellite lesion water. We show thick stroma suppuration. We'll have the aqua bedayat cornea vascularization, which indicates chronicity of the infection. Other photos for fungal keratitis. Photo on the right. لاحظنا ستلات ليجن أو بلاك لاك ليجن in the cornea إذا نسوي لها سكريبينج في الطينة في the leather like texture نشوف ال hypopion thick and irregular the photo on the left لاحظنا pigmentation in the suppuration this highly indicate fungal keratitis بالإضافة نشوف ال margins of the suppuration irregular with the spiny-like extensions from the margins. Other photos for fungal keratitis. A photo on the right, advanced case of fungal keratitis. The stroma suppuration, thick or irregular in shape and in densities. bacterial infection. The margins of the suppuration the irregular with feathery like spiny like extensions. Axma shuva the ground positive coxar. The surrounding cornea relatively clear. Axma shuva the pseudomonas infection. The photo on the left, other case of advanced fungal keratitis with deep stroma suppuration and endothelial abscess. But still, overlying epithelium is still intact. Ala axma shuva bil bacterial infection, really almost always the epithelium core involved. The margins of the suppuration shuva irregular with the spiny like or feather like extensions. Post operative 10 0 stitch may predispose to microbial keratitis. In early cases, 
after days from the operation may predispose to bacterial infection, but in long-standing cases after months may predispose to fungal infection. With management, we have to remove the infected stitch and use of topical antifungal eye drops. For very advanced case of fungal keratitis, now lahab all the sutrum is damaged with suppuration, and all the characteristic clinical signs now disappear. The diagnosis is impossible clinically, and we have to do scraping and send for lab investigations to confirm the diagnosis. Then lahab no the diagnosis is much more obvious in early cases and becomes very difficult in advanced cases. Fungal keratitis is with topical photosine B or natamycin eye drops. Topical azole drugs like proconazole better to be avoided because polines like amphotocin B and natamycin have a broad spectrum antifungal effect while azor drugs are weak against aspergillus, which are the most common fungi isolated according to our local circumstances. In addition, combination of folines with azor are probably not recommended because azor drugs may have antagonist effect on the action of polines. Mycotic ulcer treatment trial or MAT study is a randomized clinical trial compare the action of topical natamycin with borconazole, which has the best intraocular penetration. And this study showed that the benefit of topical natamycin is over the benefit of topical borconazole, and oral borconazole did not improve the outcomes although may have some effect among fusarium ulcers. And this study did not recommend use of oral volcanozole for fungal keratitis. In the fact, the studies are used to use azoles for fungal keratitis, and studies are used to use combination between azoles and polines. But on the basis of fact, these studies are case series or case report. بالإضافة إنه إحنا عندنا الأسبرجلس هي most common fungi isolated ومن المعلوم إنه الأزولز are weak against أسبرجلس effective against fusarium فإذا عندنا good lab facilities وشخصنا الفنجاي species of the fungi isolated وطلعت fusarium فممكن نستعمل الأزولز بس إذا ما عندنا lab facilities ما نعرف شنو the species of the fungi فمن الأفضل نستعمل polines النتامايسين أو الأمفوتوسين باعتبار أنه broad spectrum antifungal effect وفي الحقيقة أنا أفضل الأمفوتوسين ولو يحتاج fresh preparation ولازم نعيد تحضيره كل يومين أو ثلاثة Secreting is very important in the management of uh, fungal keratitis. And as we said before, fungal keratitis sometimes presented with stroma suppuration without overlying ulceration. have full penetration in intact epithelium. They are lipophobic. Uh, and so we secreting remove the overlying uh, epithelium and uh, we remove the necrotic tissue and thick uh, abscess for enhanced penetration of the docs. As lazim kun hadrim nisu secreting, we avoid thin area. Fal haqiqa I avoid the central part of the cornea, kun thin. We avoid the center of the suppuration, and him kun be thinning. We also secreting ala al margins of the suppuration. We lazim deep uh, secreting. بس أكون هذا اللي ليس عندي perforation. فدائما انتبه على ال depth of the scraping. فبنفس الوقت من أسوي scraping راح أدز على lab investigations. 
خلي سكريبنج على جلاس سلايد وقطع كي او اتش فور اكزاميشن اندر ذا دارك ماكروسكوب اذا عندي جود مايكروبايوجست يقدر يشخص لنا الهاي في اندر ذا ماكروسكوب نقدر نشخص الفنكل انفكشن اميديتلي ونقدر نخليه على كلتشر ميديا البلود والسفرول فور الدايجنوزيز ذا سبيشيز اوف ذا فنكل جرام بوزيتيف كوكسايد كيراتايتس ريجاردينج ذا هيستوري We may have acute onset, rapid progression in cases of staph aureus or streptococcus pneumonia keratitis, or we can have a chronic, slow progression in cases of staph epidermidis keratitis. The predisposing factors usually in the presence of ocular surface disorders like dry eye, tracheosis, blepharitis, and decreased cystitis, which are predisposed to streptococcus pneumonia keratitis. ممكن يكون post ocular surgeries and it is painful keratitis. Regarding the clinical signs, we can have a localized infiltrate or abscess with well-defined borders and a clear surrounding cornea. This is a photo of ground positive coxa keratitis. Allahad of localized uniform abscess with well-defined borders and a clear surrounding cornea. Treatment of presumed gram-positive coxal keratitis. The initial therapy in mild cases, we can use gatifloxacillin or moxifloxacillin eye drops. While in severe resistant cases, we can use vancomycin 3% plus gentamicin or topramycin eye drops. Higher concentrations of vancomycin better to be avoided because they are toxic and irritant. Virus trauma keratitis. Regarding the history, we usually have a subacute onset, slow progression, and a chronic course, and sometimes recurrent keratitis. This is a very important clue for diagnosis viral keratitis because viral keratitis is a reactivation of a latent viral infection, and the most important predisposing factors is previous history of ocular herpes simplex virus. The risk factors for reactivation are depressed local or systemic immunity. For example, ocular trauma, ocular surgeries, topical steroids, and dry eye. While systemic depressed immunity may occur after stress, systemic illness, fever, and excessive exposure to sunlight. Viral keratitis may occur post any ocular surgery. Viral keratitis can be relatively mild pain or painless. Clinical signs in viral stroma keratitis. There is stroma infiltration or suppuration with or without overlying ulceration, sometimes overlying geographical ulcer. Sometimes adjacent old corneal opacity with old corneal vascularization due to previous keratitis, and this indicates a recurrent keratitis, which is a very important clue in the diagnosis of viral keratitis. And sometimes depressed corneal sensation this is an important sign in a small localized viral keratitis and show overall depressed cornea sensation. Meaning that it is severe, large keratitis. We can say that depressed cornea sensation, any type of microbial keratitis, is due to damage to the corneal nerves. Sometimes in viral keratitis, a lack of lymphitis, and sometimes keratoyuveitis, and show severe AC reaction, unproportional to the severity of the corneal inflammation and sometimes persistent epithelial defect post ocular surgery may indicate viral infection sometimes with misuse of topical steroids is there a localized corneal perforation this ehnanal corneal perforation the viral infection tiktlif amma shufa bil pseudomonas 
وبالفنجل كيراتايتس هنا نشوف البرفوريشن سراوندنج with relatively no severe stromal inflammation then a topical steroid depress the stromal inflammation as at the same time activate the active viral infection mixed infection viral and bacteria is not uncommon Treatment of viral keratitis depends on the involved layer of the cornea. In epithelial keratitis, this is active viral infection, while in stromal keratitis, this is a combined active viral infection and immune response. In endothelial keratitis, discoform keratitis, this is immune response, while in keratoyuviatis, this is an active viral infection plus immune response. Treatment of viral epithelial keratitis, either with topical, a cyclovir ointment five times per day for two to three weeks, or systemic, a cyclovir 400 to 800 milligram five times daily for three weeks, or bicyclovir 500 milligram to one gram in case of large amoeboid ulcer, three times daily for three weeks. Treatment of virus trauma keratitis is very important to evaluate the status of the epithelium before starting the treatment, because in stromal viral keratitis with positive epithelial staining, this is active viral infection, and. We have to use therapeutic dose of oral antiviral agent without steroids. We can use a cyclovir tablet 800 mg 5 times per day or bacyclovir 1 gram 3 times daily. When stain becomes negative, then cautious use of diluted concentration of topical steroids under cover of therapeutic dose of oral antiviral agent. I usually use dexamethasone or prednisolone eye drops diluted 50% with distilled water three times daily. If epithelial staining remains negative, then probably we can use full concentration of topical steroids, but under cover of therapeutic dose of oral antiviral and close for follow-up. But in the fact, Stromal viral keratitis is very sensitive to topical steroids, and a good response can be achieved with diluted concentrations of topical steroids. When good response occurs, then a very gradual tapering of steroids and antiviral with a close follow up. ومثل ما لاحظتوا احنا هنا نستعمل سيستميك انتي فايرال ايجنتس ونتجنب التوبيكال لان هنا كرونيك كيس نحتاج نبقى على التريتمنت فور سيفرال ويكس توبيكال انتي فايرال ايجنتس ار توكسيك تو ذا كورنيا اذا نستعملها فتره اكثر من اسبوعين او ثلاثه من سيتروما فايرا كيراتاتس ويزاوت السريشن then we use topical steroids plus prophylactic oral antiviral agent with a close follow-up. We can use full concentration of dexamethasone or prednisolone eye drops five times per day plus systemic acyclovir tab 400 mg five times per day or bicyclovir 500 mg three times daily with very gradual tapering of steroids and antiviral for two to three months. In viral endothelial keratitis or discoform keratitis, this is immunological reaction, and we use therapeutic dose of topical steroids plus prophylactic dose of oral antiviral agent. We can use prednisolone, 1% eye drops, every two or three hours per day, plus acyclovir tab. 400 mg three times daily, or bicyclovir 500 mg twice daily. 
or antiviral is maintained as long as steroids are in use. Viral keratouveitis. This is active viral infection plus immunological reaction. If stain is negative, then we use therapeutic dose of topical steroids plus therapeutic dose of oral antiviral agent. We can use prednisolone, 1% eye drops, every 2 or 3 hours per day, plus acyclovir tab, 800mg, 5 times daily, or vasaclovir, 1 gram, 3 times daily, with very gradual tapering of steroids and antiviral. Viral keratouveitis with stain positive. نانا نعاملها معاملة stromal viral keratitis with epithelial staining. But we give therapeutic dose of oral antiviral agent. Atropine eye drops, very important with viral keratouveitis. When stain becomes negative, then cautious use of topical steroids under cover of therapeutic dose of oral antiviral agent. Checking intraocular pressure is very important in viral keratoviatis. Then increase intraocular pressure. One of the signs of important viral anterior uveitis. When the inflammation improves, then very gradual tapering of steroids and antiviral drugs. Herpetic eye disease study 1 showed the benefit of topical steroids and oral acyclovir for stromal viral keratitis, while herpetic eye disease study 2 showed the benefit of oral acyclovir in decreasing the recurrence rate of any type of herpes simplex viral keratitis by approximately 50%. Signs and symptoms of response to treatment. First, improvement in symptoms, decrease in pain. This can occur as early as 24 hours after starting the treatment. Then, a new ophthalmization at the margins of the cornea aceration with elevated blunt margins. And this occurs within three or four days. Decrease in size of the epithelial staining, a regression in the extensions of the stroma suppuration and the clearing of the surrounding ed edema. Decreases size and density of stroma suppuration and replaced by corneal opacity and decrease in the anterior chamber inflammation. Causes of treatment failure. Number one, incorrect diagnosis or treatment. For example, using antibiotics for fungal or viral keratitis or incorrect using of antibiotics. For example, vancomycin or moxifloxacidine for pseudomonas keratitis. worsening of the infection or primary failure. Number two, neurotrophic keratitis, usually post-viral infection, and there is persistence of an epithelial ulceration. Number three, drug toxicity usually with using fortified eye drops and there is persistent ulceration and hazy edematous cornea with punctate epithelial erosion and sometimes necrotic stroma keratitis. Number four, mixed infection, bacteria with viral, bacteria with fungal or mixed bacteria infection, gram positive and gram negative. And there is worsening after partial improvement in early cases or early secondary failure. Shuf, after a few days from starting the treatment with partial improvement, uh, worsening of the keratitis. So, mungkin hana sebabu mixed infection. Number five, poor compliance. And there is worsening after partial improvement in long-standing cases or late secondary failure. نلاحظها خاصة بالكرونيك كيسز مثل الفنجل كيراتاتس اللي تحتاج عدة أسابيع for complete healing فنلاحظ هنا after gradual partial improvement شوف صدم 
worsening of the keratitis. فممكن هنا السبب يكون misuse of eye drops. We never consider microbial keratitis here until complete healing occurs. At the end of the second part of microbial keratitis clinical session, we can suggest a protocol for the management of microbial keratitis according to our local circumstances. For cases presented with clinical features that strongly indicate the diagnosis, we can start initial therapy according to the provisional diagnosis without doing lab investigations. Again, the lab investigations ideally done for every case of microbial stroma keratitis. بس بالحقيقة نقدر نستغني عنها إذا عندنا strong clinical features indicating the causative agent. يعني lab investigations مو دائما تكون متوفرة. The lab investigations حقيقة نحتاجها وضرورية بالحالات التالية: أولا cases presented with no or weak characteristic clinical features indicating the causative agent. لما نقدر نبدي ال treatment randomly. وما عندنا بد كلو للدايجنوزيس. النقطة الثانية cases with poor response to the initial therapy. والنقطة الثالثة suspected fungal keratitis to enhance drug absorption by scraping and for identification the species of the fungal. هاي تفيدنا بعدين بالتريتمنت. The good lab results require a proper scraping. مثل ما قلنا بالسوي سكرينبك من المارجن أو the suppuration. Avoid the visual access in center of the cornea. Avoid the center of the suppuration. We can make a biotinning. We can do scraping from the margin. We need to do some scraping. We use, of course, sterile bent end needle. We change it with all media. If it's a touch to the eyelashes or the eyelid, we need to change it to prevent the contamination. We need to properly prepare fresh media. إذا مو فريش ميديا ما راح تطلع لنا ريزولتس ولازم بروبر انكيوبيتد تمبرتشر يعني الفنجر تحتاج روم تمبرتشر بينما البكتيريا تحتاج تمبرتشر عالي في نهاية هذا الكلينيكال سيشن أتمنى أن أكون قد وفقت في شرح بعض البراكتيكال بوينتس إن ذا مانجمنت أوف مايكروبيل كيراتاتيس شكرا لكم نتمنى لكم الموفقية